this framework here. It's very simple. It's just a graphic divided into four parts. We have the result quadrant, which is when your boss knows and trusts a specific skill you have. Maybe they can trust here that you can build a simple iOS app on time. And this quadrant here decides how much you get paid. Your skills that are in this quadrant are the skills you're getting paid right now for. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can build an iOS app on time. Boom, they're paying you for that. Now, the naive, the naive quadrant here are the ones where you have some kind of skill that your boss know you have, but you don't know it. Maybe you are a great leader, but you don't know it. But your boss sees that in you, but you don't know it. Maybe you are a good speaker compared yeah. to others in there, and they know it, mm -hmm. and they value for that. And here, in some cases, in some cases, you are even paid for this skill that you don't know you have. Yeah. Because your boss sees you, oh, he's a great leader, and they promote you, and you don't even know, like, well, seriously? But most of the time, you're not paid for these skills because you don't know, and there's no way to sell it, right? There's no way for you to capitalize on it or even to improve it because if you don't know you have it, you don't know it's valuable, you're naive. Maybe here you have like leadership, speaking skills, writing skills, that you are above average, your boss recognizes that in you, but you don't. Now, there's also the facade quadrant. The skills you know you have, but others don't. Others don't know it. Or they don't trust you can apply. The skills you know you have, but your boss don't know or don't trust you can do a good job. Mm -hmm. For example, classic one here, testing. Maybe testing. Maybe your testing skills are here. Maybe your architectural skills are here. Maybe your refactoring skills are here. You're building those skills. You know you can start applying them, but you don't get buy-in from your boss. Thus, they're not going to pay for it. That's it. Your boss is not going to allow you to exercise those skills, and they're not going to pay for it. That's simple. And the unknown quadrant. Completely hidden skills that both you and others don't know about. Skills that you have zero or may have very, 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 very little proficiency yet. Mm -hmm. you no, know, maybe CI is here. Maybe continuous integration. You kind of heard about it. You know that like you can get bit rise, you can get GitHub actions, but like you don't see the benefits, you're not proficient at it, so you don't capitalize on it. Your boss also don't don't see the benefit of CI or CD. So you're both in the unknown phase. No one capitalizes on this skill. So the important thing now is that you take this framework here sit down and start analyzing all the skills you have and start thinking about all the skills you can move to the result result quadrant because this is the quadrant that dictates the value you bring in the market the skills you are valued for and paid for so bringing skills to this quadrant here will make you more valuable and increase your income your work fulfillment 